Microsoft has two cloud solutions that sound the same, but work very differently. And using the wrong one could cost you big time. A very common question I get from my students is the question of, is OneDrive the same as SharePoint? Is OneDrive and SharePoint the same storage? And the quick answer to that is, no. My name is Connie Clark, your computer friend, and I will get into this in detail so you can understand the differences between OneDrive and SharePoint and which one you should choose for which reason. So let's go into it. Many organizations waste time and money because they don't understand the fundamental differences between OneDrive and SharePoint. In this video, I'm going to talk about what these two Microsoft Cloud solutions actually are. We'll talk about the confusion and why there is so much of it. We'll look at some real world cases of how to use them, and I'll give you some tips. So I'm going to start with a simple comparison. Think about your computer and the hard drive and the My Documents area that you've had on there typically, and then think about the company or the organizational server that is centralized for documents. And when we think of those two areas, that's how we can compare the OneDrive to the SharePoint. So OneDrive takes the place of My Documents which are typically on your own computer for your own use. And the SharePoint takes the place of the server documents, which is the shared documents that the organization needs to use. And I like to look at the words used here by Microsoft. OneDrive meant for one person, SharePoint meant for sharing. Now I want to bring this into here as well. Teams is another Microsoft product that you might be using and the file storage used in Teams is in fact SharePoint. So if you're using Teams to store your files, then you're really using SharePoint. So where do you use one cloud versus the other? OneDrive is for that personal work storage. So for those documents that only you need to work on and have access to, whereas SharePoint should be for anything that you need to collaborate with others on or other people need to see that those documents or maybe possibly edit them as well. I go one step further with my clients and when I'm talking about these two cloud storage systems and I say that think of OneDrive like your desk drawer. That's your property. You can get into that desk drawer and look at what's there and store stuff there. Whereas SharePoint is that filing cabinet that everyone in the office can get access to. Now there's many differences between these two Microsoft storage systems. I've listed a few of them here for you as well as discussed some of them already. So why is there so much confusion? Let's get into it. Now, if you log into your Microsoft account online and you go to OneDrive, you'll see what I'm showing on my screen on the left side. And if you log into your Microsoft account and go into SharePoint, you'll see what I have on my screen on the right side here. So let's look at each of these in detail. So if I open up OneDrive, the screen says that I'm in OneDrive, but in actual fact, Microsoft is giving us a convenient shortcut to other files as well. It's actually giving us from this screen, we have access to files that are not just from OneDrive, but files that are from SharePoint as well. And that's kind of where the confusion happens. We think we're in OneDrive and I'm like, why am I seeing this file that I, I know I worked on within SharePoint or within my Teams environment. Why is that here? It's because Microsoft is just giving you a shortcut to seeing both worlds together in one screen. So when you're in the home screen of your OneDrive, home is where it starts, that you're looking at the recent files. And those recent files are any Microsoft related file. And so if you look at mine here, training events, that is in a place called instructors. Instructors is actually a team that I have. Mission blogs is another team that I have. So these are not OneDrive files you're seeing at the top here. The OneDrive files are the ones that say my files. So wherever it says my files, those are in fact files that are stored on my OneDrive. So again, the terminology Microsoft is trying to help us. It's saying my files is in fact, those are my files. Those are the ones from my OneDrive. They could as well, they could have said my files or OneDrive underneath. They chose to say my files, but my files equals OneDrive. Okay. Now, if I go to the top left here, it says my files. And when I click on that, these are in fact all the folders or files that I have on my on my OneDrive. These are not in SharePoint. These are not in Teams. These are in my OneDrive. There is a shared area. So the shared area is for me to see any files that have been shared with me from other people's OneDrives or any files that have been shared by me to other people's OneDrives. So when we're sharing from OneDrive to OneDrive, 
this is where the sharing files show. Now, favorites is a mixture. It's doing this to us again, where it's giving us a convenient place to see those favorite Microsoft files. They could be OneDrive files that are in here, or they could be SharePoint files or team files. And so again, if you look at my files, mission training is a mission training is a team I have. Mission marketing is a team I have. My files is my OneDrive file. So you can see easily here which of these are in fact in OneDrive versus a team or SharePoint. Recycle bin, this is from OneDrive, okay? OneDrive areas on the left so far that are only about OneDrive is the area that says my files, the area that says shared, and the area that says recycle bin. Favorites and home are a mixture of OneDrive files and Teams or SharePoint files. Now browse files by this area here is looking at files that are coming from either the Teams SharePoint environment or the OneDrive environment. Meetings would be from Teams, right? Now this next area here that says quick access, I clicked on instructors in this next area. And this area here is all about SharePoint or Teams files. These Again, we are in the OneDrive area. This is what is, why it's confusing. We're in the OneDrive screen, but we are seeing Teams or SharePoint sites over here. And, and as we click on one of these areas, so I'm on instructors, that's, that's a SharePoint site or a team, I can see at the top right of my screen, it says go to site. So that would take me, rather than looking at the files from OneDrive, from the environment in OneDrive, I can go to the site of instructors Let's do it. Now I'm in the SharePoint site for instructors. And it actually took me into the documents area of the SharePoint site for instructors. This is where I want to start talking to you about what SharePoint really is about. SharePoint is a site. So think of it like a website for your company or organization, an internal website, if you will. And on this website, you can have many different pages for many different things. But if you use it at, at its default, it will always have a home page, which can give you various things like quick links and documents and, and the activity for the files within that site. There is also always going to be a documents area for a SharePoint site. So that's where all the files and folders are kept for that SharePoint site. Now, as an organization, I want you to think about the fact that you could have more than one SharePoint site. Even though it's like a website or an internal website, you want to think of SharePoint sites having value for different reasons, different groups of people. And whenever you create a team, by the way, you create a SharePoint site. So if you're into teams, you're making SharePoint sites every time you make a new team. If you're not making using Teams, then don't limit yourself just to one SharePoint site because there's so much more you can do when you create more than one because every site can have its own set of permissions, its own set of members, people that belong to that site. If we go back to the idea of OneDrive, OneDrive is meant for one person. We can certainly share files one by one and then we have a shared area. The shared area isn't organized though. And so if you really intend to share files to a group of people on a regular basis, then it's better to have a site, a share, SharePoint site or a team for that. And that way the sharing is automatic. It always happens. When you put the file in that SharePoint site, it whoever the members of the site are, have access to it. You don't have to take any extra steps to say, I want to share with these people. So one more thing about OneDrive, and when we're comparing it to SharePoint, I like to just say that OneDrive really is simply a place for your files and on your folders. It doesn't have anything else for us here, whereas SharePoint has a lot more for us. It's, it's like that website idea. Now, if you use Teams, you might notice that in Teams, there is a OneDrive icon on the left hand side in your toolbar on the left. And that OneDrive icon takes you to the exact same place I was with you earlier, which is really the OneDrive on the web. And so from this OneDrive icon, even though we're in Teams, which is all about sharing, because uh, it really is about SharePoint, then 
we're seeing our OneDrive just as a convenience. So Microsoft, once again, this, this is where the confusion happens. People think, oh, I have OneDrive here. People are seeing my OneDrive. No, no, they're not seeing your OneDrive. This is just like a shortcut Microsoft gave you so you can see your OneDrive and also have access to any other files that you opened recently if you're clicked on the home button there at the top. Okay, but everything else that you see laid out within Teams when you click on OneDrive is the same as if you went to OneDrive on the web. There are some convenient places for you to get access to files that are not just OneDrive files, but are SharePoint or Teams files. So just one more look at Teams with reference to both of these clouds that Microsoft has. The storage for files in Teams is SharePoint, whereas when we're in Teams looking at that OneDrive button, we're simply getting a quick link or a shortcut to where our OneDrive files are. Nobody within our Teams environment can see our OneDrive. Now, another place that you can see your OneDrive and your SharePoint sites or Teams is within your Windows File Explorer screen. And so when you see the blue cloud in your Windows File Explorer screen, that represents OneDrive. Those are your OneDrive files. If you notice that there is like a building icon, as you see on my screen here, I have Mission Computers, that represents SharePoint or Teams. So Mission Computers is a SharePoint site or a team. And you may or may not have access to these from your Windows File Explorer. It just depends on your setup that you have. So back into SharePoint. Why would I use SharePoint instead of OneDrive? Well, as an organization, in my case, I teach people how to use technology like SharePoint or OneDrive or Teams. And I have a site, a SharePoint site for instructors, for all the instructors that work together here. And in this site, we have a place for resources. So rather than me going to my OneDrive and sharing one file or one folder at a time with other instructors, I can just have all the instructors be members of this SharePoint site so that they can see any file they want anytime. I don't have to do any extra work. So I'm going to click on resources here and you're going to see that in this folder, us instructors can look at different PowerPoints that we need for teaching. We can look at different handouts. We, there's some recordings that we have. Uh, there's certificates, evaluations, agendas, all kinds of stuff that we could access as a resource for our group. So because I want to share with this group of people on a regular basis and I want them to have easy access, a SharePoint site makes more sense than me always sharing through OneDrive or having a folder from my OneDrive. The added advantage of it being a SharePoint site instead of a shared folder. In case you're thinking, well, you know, you can make a resources shared folder, Connie. What's the big deal with that from your OneDrive? Well, yes, I could, but then I can't share anything else with them instantly. I've moved to the home page of the SharePoint site and you can see aside from the files or documents, I have some quick links that people can click on to go to different things. There is a calendar that they can look at to see what's coming up. And there's even an event schedule or a list showing up on this page. And there's actually other pages. So aside from documents, there's other pages that they can look at. This being another page that they can look at. Now I'm a big advocate of Teams and I love using Teams. So I'm gonna show you that just because when you make the team, it makes a SharePoint site. So you can get to the information through the site or through the team. The advantage of having the teams area is you have a post area, a place for conversations. In the resources channel of the instructor's team, if I go to the files area in this channel, you're gonna notice that the exact same files I was looking at on that SharePoint site are also here. So us instructors can work within the team or we can work within the, sh within the SharePoint site. Same information available from two different locations. So a bit more flexibility in these areas than just in OneDrive. OneDrive is just about files. One more advantage I'll point out to you about SharePoint over or Teams, SharePoint or Teams over OneDrive is that when I look at my files in SharePoint or Teams, they look a bit different. I have some files pinned to the top of my screen, of my files area, and I also have different columns of information beside my files. So I'm in my OneDrive now and I'm in my courses folder in my agendas area and you see that there is a few extra columns happening here but there's no ability for me to customize the columns i can see standard stuff like modified modified date and file size i can even see if whether that file is shared or not and maybe whether there was any activity on the file but i can't add any more extra details on it and there's no pinning files to the top of uh, 
the area within my OneDrive. So you should see from this comparison that we've done that OneDrive has its place with any files that you have that are for your own purposes that you don't need to share or let others see. There's good security within the Microsoft OneDrive area, whether I'm sharing information with others or what I do with these files are controlled by myself, the end user of that OneDrive, as opposed to within SharePoint, the control would be by the owner of that SharePoint site or of that team. So I might just be a member of a SharePoint site or a team. So I might have not as much control over the files in there. Sharing is automatic in SharePoint and Teams, whereas within OneDrive, you'll have to create the share from scratch uh, and of course, give the right permissions uh, to the right people when you do that. OneDrive is meant for individuals working in an organization for their individual files. SharePoint is meant for the organization to have the files they need group together in a meaningful way for the people that need to use them. And then of course, SharePoint has a lot more than just files to offer to us. So let me know in the comments what you think, what, what's your cloud of choice? What has been your confusion, confusion around OneDrive and SharePoint or even Teams? Drop a comment, let me know. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you understand the differences between SharePoint and OneDrive now and see that they are truly not the same thing, but they definitely have their purpose. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.